hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you have subscribed if you haven't please do and join the soul food tribe mm, i hope you're keeping safe by the way washing your hands and sanitizing yeah today i'm going to do a video on the few lessons i learned in my 20s i got to the third floor like two months ago and yeah i'm going to share with you some of the few lessons i learned in my 20s maybe it as idea too you never know anyway number one i'm going to i'm going straight to the point number one losing friends is im <laughs> sorry losing friends is kawaida losing friends is normal mtu asikwambia hapo at you just as hapo juu ya mtu uki lose contact na mtu maybe kitu imekuja mwa separate me lose contact nini yani you lose friends in many ways kuna wengine mtakosana kuna wengine mtaona hamko compatible you, you know si lazima mclick na kila mtu you can't please any everyone and si lazima mclick na kila mtu so when you find that you're not clicking with someone and me lose contact this is just stress up what you was you and your english is doing no 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 just move on and you're going to meet others and yeah you know you 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 will know who to keep in your circle and have a small circle of loyal friends cuz tena ku find loyal friends will be a hard task but pray for the spirit of discernment omba god akusaidia kujua your friends who are your friends who are there to kuchekelea nini you know those kind of things so losing friends is normal number two, parting is important kupati ni important by the mtu asikusho wo usiende club sijui nini no party is in party we end a party but parting responsibly is more important so hata kama una party party responsibly si tena unaenda kwa club unalala huko kesho hata uendi kazi unafutwa juu ya kutoenda job but una party no parting responsibly is the most important so usi skip party ya kupati by the usi don't leave the party at 8 ka mimi mi i left the party at 8 and right now is when i'm realizing by the you should not skip some steps in life so just party we we party ukipata chance but be responsible enough take care of yourself usijue star party maybe you jumping from one person to another or taking so much alcohol mpaka unakuwa addict ama ama drugs no party responsibly and take care of yourself number three trust your gut. Hmm? Hiyo ni nyingine important. Trust your gut. Kama unaambwa na mtu, twende hivi, but your inst- your first instinct is no this is wrong. Trust your gut. It is always right. Ikikwambia like this this thing is totally wrong. Usifanye ama fanya. Trust your gut. Yaani hata mtu akikwambia usiende hiyo interview mwa, usifanye kitu fulani, but your gut tells you no this thing is important or it is right. Just do it cuz tena ukisikia every tom dick and harry your life will be life yako hizi kuwa na madereva ka 50 no 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 trust your gut uki uki feel like my instincts my first instinct timeniambia nisifanye hivi usishinde ukifanya so trust trust your gut number 4 ka is it number 4 i think yeah number 4 listen listen more skiza usikuwe wale watu wa kurogerera ate <laughs> kurukilia ama kurogerera <laughs> okay, anyway usikuwe wale watu wenye hawatakani kusikiza advice hata heri you listen and then utafanya tu chenye umeji like usikize but ukiwa peke yako ujiulize like ujiite kamkutano ujiulize by the way hiyo advice nilipewa is it good or is it bad cuz kila mtu akona ako na ile uwezo ya kujua this thing is right and this is wrong so listen more and especially to the elders hao watu wenye wameishi miaka mob kutushinda they have a lot of advice and wisdom so listen more and then ujite kamkutano ujiambie by the way in right in wrong so always listen more number five, save your money saving is important saving is very important cuz kasa hii tuko quarantine kuna watu wenye maybe walikuwa majob poa hawakusave maybe they lost their job unfortunately no maybe they are suffering because they didn't have even 
hata kidogo ya kujiwekea maybe anaweza kakabiza ma something saving is important na u- adopting the culture of saving at an early age like umepata job kako kwa kwanza at 20 and then ume, umeanza ku save hata ukisave 50 bob bado ni savings it doesn't matter how much you are saving hata ukisema ndako ana save 10 shillings per day after 5 years useme unafungua hii account itakuwa na dose inaweza kukusaidia so saving is important hata kama ni 5 shillings umepata na uko na, na another saving is important hata kama ni 5 shillings unapata 2 shillings save hizo zingine kula so always save hata kama hutakuwa na bank account squeeze ni mingi zimekuja mshwari unaweza save uko kwa mshwari yani unaweza save yani uko na hata kama ni mkebe utatafuta uko una save adopting the culture of saving is important i repeat hata kama ni kidogo save anza ku save when when you don't even have responsibilities just save start now yani save your money kuskule zote tena ujipate una anything i am forgive yourself often we all make mistakes see what tuna making mistakes and some of us find it so hard to forgive ourselves at equals ulifanya you let yourself do something silly now you're regretting but you can't find the heart to forgive yourself forgive yourself hata ukiezanga kuji forgive utaweza ku forgive wale wetingine so forgive yourself oftenly the the other point is express your feelings i struggle so much with this one by the way expressing your feelings like hii kitu ijanifurahisha hii kitu imenifurahisha like express your feelings mtu akikukosea usinyamaze hapo uti ukufange na stress juu ya mtu express your feelings so many of us by the way wanaweza kuwa na hiyo shida ya kuji express but with time as we grow older una you you uta, uta, uta find at it will become more easier but ukijaribu mape as in ukijaribu when you're younger i think it takes idea cuz usingoje when it's too late at ndio unapata gas za ku express <laughs> but uh, na some way, i'm still struggling with it but i am trying since i'm like nikiwa 20 nilikuwa na ju express when you're ju express say so expressing yourself express yourself often ndio mtu asikushinange akikukwaza unajua kuna mtu anaweza shinda akikukwaza daily daily na hajui anakukosea so expressing your feelings is important haya hiyo ingine live in the moment acha kujali mambo acha niache kutumia jina but live in the moment when god blesses you like kasa hii acha kufikiria gosh kesho saa kutakuwa no live in the moment enjoy your time like enjoy that time that god amekupea hiyo kitu maybe maybe it's an answered prayer why don't you first enjoy it live in the, that moment that, that particular time kabla uanze kufikiria like gosh sasa amenipea gari now i need a house sasa nitatoa wapi pesa sijini first enjoy so may thank god thank you god nini umenipea hii umeni bless na hii umeni bless hata na wear a roof over your head so live in that moment usishinde ukifikiria ati yani uki, ukifikiria ati gosh sasa nimepata nyumba kai sasa nitatoa hapa viti live in the moment vitu zuji leta tu pole 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 kila kitu we, so long as you're praying kila kitu huji leta huji leta tu pole pole The next point pray pray prayer prayer is the most most mostest <laughs> mostest prayer is more important yani hiyo ndio hata ningeanza nayo pale prayer is important pray kwa kila kitu ukiamka tu hivi wengine wetu wanaamkanga tu ushachukua ushatoa simu kwa charge ushaanza kuangalia au ma facebook ma twitter zwini pray kwanza always pray kama hauja find time ya ku pray in the morning ukitembea na huko kwa barabara ukienda enda ukiambia god asante mungu kwa kuniamsha just pray thank god for every little thing unaona uko nayo the the air you breathe ni important kila kitu roof over your head waking up to ni kitu pray give thanks prayer is the most important in this life having Having a relationship with God is important. Another point, have a secret relationship, a personal relationship with God. Make God your friend. Kuwa wale watu wenye 
ati you have a personal relationship na Mungu mpaka you are so confident ati when you go out there ati unaweza toka hapa home unaweza toka home bila yeye but you're trusting God that ukienda he will come through for you because he's your father know that you're the daughter or so you're a daughter to the son of the most high that God is our father he's our creator if he created us kwani ni nini anaweza kosa ako na kila kitu have a personal relationship with him always yani yani always talk to god hata kama ni decision unataka ku make sema god i need this and this but if it is your will and then give me a confirmation even if it is a dream i just need a confirmation that whatever i'm praying for it is for your glory yani ni kitu itakufurahisha si ati haya another point ni Life is a competition by the way. Life is not a competition. Just because your friends wamefika kiwango fulani ama just because your friends are doing certain things it doesn't mean that it, well, it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that you have to do it. So where we live your life usikuwe na pressure ati mabeste wangu ameanza kuolewa oh my god nimefika niko karibu kufika dhati nani alisema ati like ukifika dhati ati lazima ukuo umeolewa kila mtu akona time frame yake mwingine ataolewa at 20 mwingine ataolewa at 21 mwingine ataolewa at 30 mwingine ataolewa at 40 na life bado yake ine. hakuna yani hakuna competition kila mtu ana run race yake si ati tuko tunakimbia mahali tunafika finishing line pamoja hapana kila mtu akona time frame yake You see. So don't be too pressurized that maybe you ukoka unataka kusoma na unataka kwenda kampu upate masters nini nini. But unaona ati watu wenye mlimaliza nao shule washaanza kupata watu hii ama wameoa. Don't be pressured by kila mtu ako na na, na time frame yake. So usikwe hapo usikwe hapo ati kai wacha mimi nikaoe ama nikaolewe juu best yangu ameolewa ama ame kila mtu na time frame yake just know that kila mtu ako na time we are all different beings usikuwe na pressure hapo at cuz my friend akon amefanya hivi na mimi nafanya hivi cuz all my friends are driving oh my god sija drive ndato hapi sije nitafanya cuz my friends wamejenga guy my god sija sija jenga kila mtu ako na time frame yake wait for your turn usikuwe na pressure at ujuange hapo na maalsa that my god my goals sije Usijafanya hivi watu wengine wamefanya no 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 live your own life okay the next the next point have goals set goals uko unajua kama ni unataka unikusoma unajua yani kama ni kusoma ni you want to have a job kusoma ni hizo vitu zote have goals kuwa kuwa umeset two goals uki 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 set goals it will be easier to work ukiwa na na target flani ama ukiwa na goals flani unataka ku ku achieve so always set goals na some of these things nobody 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 we nobody <laughs> kizungu by the ni ngumu nobody hakuna mtu mwenye yeye utuambia but i am really praying that there is somebody out there mwenye atasaidiwa na hizo na hizi mambo zenye nasema cuz sa zingine tunaambwa ngwa mambo but since tunasema ngati kila mtu ana ana learn na experience yake bado ni ni poa kulana na experience ya watu wengine unasikiza watu wengine and unasoma na wao unajua na need kufanya hivi na hivi na hivi na ndio nimesema ni vizuri ku listen so set goals and when you it will be easier to achieve goals zako ukiwa umezi hata kama utazi write down mahali hata kama ni kwa diary ama kwa simu ka notes we just it. kitu kingine learn to move on if something does not work for you learn to move on usi usijaribu kuamsha a dead situation ama a dead what guy a dead relationship usijaribu kama kitu ime time yake imefika ya kudai wacha tu roho safi die just move on yani usikuwe hapo unalilia kitu yenye imeisha na god hata hauoni another opportunity yenye god ame present ama hauoni an open door wewe unaona tu hii yenye imefungwa na Mungu unalilia tu hapo mali imefungwa na Mungu hauta hautaona yenye god amefungua so learn to move on 
from dead situations if something doesn't work for you if something you feel come on i feel kitu ni toxic ama let's say for example if you feel like you're in a relationship that is mm, that where when you're you're working too hard maybe to please the other person no just move on from that relationship it doesn't matter kama ni relationship ama ni friendship ama ni job if your job is not fulfilling achana nayo tafuta job ingine kama uko na plan b tena usiache job hapo uanze uka uende ukateseke but if your job is not fulfilling and you know maybe you have a passion you if you want to pursue go and pursue it you will never be wrong by the to pursue your passion so always move on from a dead situation usishinde hapo ume ume nini ume moon over dead situations na dead situations haziwezi come back to life na ni ajui kila kitu yenye imedai haiwezi come back so don't just move on from dead situation learn to move on situations learn to move on train your heart kama ni ku when your heart broken learn to try and yani like kuji sana za kama je ku train heart yako ku kuwa na guard at ata wetu when your heart broken you will learn how to move on faster so yeah learn to move on faster yeah and i think with those few points sita endelea yeah so subscribe guys i will keep on reminding you and thank you so much for watching thank you for the love thanks for those people who gives my video where who gives akileo kizungu those people who give my videos a thumbs up and yeah so see you in my next one